Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday, August 1st. You guys, today is August 1st. I'm so, I'm so excited. The kids start school in 14 days. And right now, I'm at the Unified School District right here in my, in my city, in the city. Because it's not just mine, <laughs> in the city. The boys just took their uh, language assessment test. They were supposed to do it yesterday, the 31st, but... I guess the lady gave me the wrong time for my appointment. I thought it was at 12, and supposedly it was at 10.30 a.m. And I was like, so they rescheduled it for the first at 1 p.m. So here we are. Jaden just took his test, and Jason just took his test. Jaden did really, really, really good. Like, well, for him that um, he never, he never went to preschool or TK. And Jason also did good. I'm surprised he did better than Jaden in the reading. I have no idea how. <laughs> Jason, what kind of questions did they ask you to read? Like, like cat, hat? Did they say, did they tell you to read? No. No? <laughs> okay, but anyways. No, 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 What did they tell you? They think they wanted me to show the pictures. <laughs> they wanted him to show the pictures. So, um... Jason did good in his listening and his uh, speaking as well, but Jaden did really good. Like I'm, I'm pretty surprised. And Jaden, like from a very young age, he always like he spoke right. Like he speaks like if you're talking to like a grown ass man. <laughs> okay, maybe not a grown ass man, but um, he speaks like. You know, you can understand what he says clearly. And then Jaden told me that he told the assessment teacher or the one taking him the test, he told me, I told her I'm a YouTuber and that I'm famous. And I'm like, Jaden, did she laugh at you? <laughs> I'm like, dude, why would you say that? One, you're a beginner in YouTube. And I don't know if we will ever get, you know, that famous or known. Jaden, what did she tell you when, when you told her you're a YouTuber? What did she tell you? Jaden, did she ask you for your channel? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking because I need to go ask some questions to their school. I need to know if they're gonna have orientation or like what's going on with that because I haven't received anything in the mail like for when they start or I don't know like they're both of their schedule or their class number. So yeah, um, supposedly the some teachers are already there so I'm gonna go ask. Or like some of the clerks right there so I'm gonna go ask I'm gonna go ask because I don't want to I don't want to have to miss orientation for them or for them to meet their classmates or their class so I'm gonna go ask <laughs> these backpacks are so cute should we pay for it first there's a big line. There's a big line. No way. I didn't want to show my face yet, but I am removing my facial hair. I just want to be prepared, you know, in case anything. <laughs> um, I have been getting like tiny, tiny contractions um, or also known as Braxton Hicks. So, you know, this is my third baby. So um, everything just feels a little like, I feel like if I was to go into labor, like the progress of labor or the labor will go by so fast um i think once it's your third baby it's like i don't want to say that you feel more loose <laughs> but i just feel like something like that you know every person is different 
so you know i just want to be ready <laughs> like i'm removing this facial hair i'm about to remove it because it already has been five minutes you don't want to leave it more than 10. the product that i am using and that i mentioned last time is the nair face cream um please use it at your own risk um if you do have sensitive skin please try it out in a little spot first um even if you don't have sensitive skin please try it out in a little spot i did take out my eyebrow oh god it's a little scared there um but i did take out my eyebrow you know you just never know you just never know so i just want to be like prepared mm, i gotta exfoliate my lips but i just want to be prepared because you know you just never know when you're gonna go into labor i just have a month left um my due date is september 9th for those that don't know um so i just have a month left and you know you'll just never know um at the moment i am 34 weeks on sunday i'll be 35 so that'll be just five weeks left so i just want to be prepared from here to september so i just won't feel like so i just won't feel so ugly when i give birth or so hairy you know i want to take off my mustache you know you know i don't know about you guys but i'm so hairy like i don't know why but my face my eyebrows they just grow so fast like i literally gotta pluck out my eyebrows once a week once a week like no twice no like once every two weeks no like because it's once a week it's that bad but anyways let me remove this so it won't irritate my face and i'll see you guys in a little bit and to shower my hair is just up in a bun hey Jaden. <laughs> and boys and their legos okay so i already removed the product and it didn't irritate me at all excuse me for my under eyes i have been having a really bad sleep schedule like i've been waking up so late but anyways i just took it off um right here i had just popped a pimple um, you know how that goes so <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go wash my face because i just want to make sure that i remove all the product um you know just in case i will recommend it too kids man kids i didn't even show you guys what i bought yesterday at tj maxx uh, when i got home i got really busy i started cooking and all that good stuff but i did find this purse which i thought was super super cute i know you guys are gonna say uh chanel vibes but <laughs> this is no chanel um it's just like you know those kind of replicas and stuff right now i don't have much to be spending like on a very very expensive purse and i just wanted something different something that fits all my stuff including camera cell phone and this one is just perfect because my michael kors one is just so small to put in my camera my ca i have um i have the canon m10 the eos m10 i'll put a picture around here somewhere but yeah this one is very 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 spacious in the inside um, it has a little compartment right here to put like your ID or anything else. Um, it's pretty basic and I really like the color. Totally giving me those fall vibes. <laughs> I'm so ready for fall you guys. I'm so over the summer. I know I always say guys but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the gold. So yeah, this is the purse that I'm going to be using for now until the baby comes <laughs> so i also bought like an oversized shirt this one is in size large and it basically it's basically one of those shirts that covers all the way up to your booty because when i leave the hospital i do want to um just wear leggings uh some thin leggings not spandex because i don't want to sweat um just some like cotton leggings and just like a really oversized shirt um there's Jaden brushing his teeth hello Jaden. So yeah, um, it's blue. I wish I could have found a pink one. I also found this cute little outfit. Now this one is nine months, but I feel like it's that material that doesn't stretch much. And my babies are huge, you guys. Like, I'm not even lying. These are so thin. So yeah, this is totally giving me fall vibes. And it comes with a little pants. This one was, how much is it? It was $9.99 and it's from Carter's. So yeah. Found it at TJ Maxx, totally giving me fall vibes. She's gonna be born in September, so she'll be wearing this like around oh October, birthday. November. On your birthday, <laughs> your birthday's coming up, buddy. But these are some women's slippers. Okay, there you go, women's slippers. These are the only kind of comfortable ones that I could find there. 
um so yeah i won't be leaving the hospital with these but these i will be using them like around the house also in the hospital like after labor and stuff um so yeah i just want my feet to be comfortable so yeah these slippers were 7.99 didn't want to spend so much on them because i know they they get ruined like really really fast so this ones are really really comfortable um, like I mentioned, $7.99. And then one of the last things that I did get at TJ Maxx are these kind of like sports bras. But I'm going to be using them more. Um, they're, kind, they're, they're like sports bras. But I do want to take one to the hospital. So this one comes in a two-pack. Um, a nursing bra, probably I'll buy it like after the baby. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I'll be using kind of like a sports bra type of bra in yeah so yeah this one this one just says this one just says comfort bra i says 3x but honestly they look so small i don't know those are just the little things i bought the kids bought toys you know how how that goes um if you do follow me on instagram uh, you did see that i had posted these my mother-in-law had brought them or brought them from mexico um, to be exact, Zacatecas. So, yeah, these are some little Mexican clothes pieces. Um, they're so cute. They look like they could be, like, from a doll or something. So, that's, like, a little ribbon. And this is, like, the little pants. It's so cute. Um, I'm not even sure, like, what sizes are these. I'm guessing it's, like, nine months. And she also brought this yellow one, which is super, super cute, too. Um, this literally looks like baby doll clothes, no lie. So, yeah, she brought these two outfits. I'm not sure which one this one goes with, but it's a little hat. And then there's this other little pants. But I think this one's like 3T. I don't know sizes in Mexico, so... Yeah, she did bring me this little clothes. Um, they went for a funeral. Um, they went for a funeral, so they went and came back fast. And she just brought um, she brought us this stuff for the baby. So I have all this baby stuff to wash. It's pretty much blankets, um, bows, stuff for her car seat, a little baby doll. It's just basically like towels and a lot of um stuff I need to wash. Uh, some of the clothes that are in here, some are too big still. Uh, these look super super huge um, once she's born and I see if they're gonna fit her I will wash them but these ones are just a little bit too big still um, this close to this ones are like six to nine or six months I think like three to six so yeah so basically what I have in here is newborn her socks these uh, canopies um, my husband's um, brother's girlfriend or fiance fiance actually her sister has a little baby girl uh, she's like already two and she wasn't using these um canopies anymore so she did um she did wanted to give them away and well i appreciate it so much these are so cute there's the purple with gray and then there's this uh red black and white one so i really really appreciate her um i don't know if she watches my videos if you do danielle leave a leave a comment <laughs> So yeah, um, so yeah, uh, she gave me these. These are already washed them. These are ready to go. I'm just gonna place them up here. I have my diaper bag back there. Um, I won't be taking that to the hospital just because I know that they give a hospital bag there and I don't wanna be carrying out so much stuff the day we leave. So yeah, so basically I'm gonna go and wash all these little cute little towels and these things for her car seat and bows. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. Something that I do wanna do as well is wash the whole kid's beds, including um, that little thing, I don't even, the bed skirt, the bed skirt. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off uh, their pillowcases and stuff um, to wash their beds. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Washing all their bed pieces, including the mattress protector and all that good stuff. I still look hideous because I'm doing chores around my house, but you know how some people, well, some mommies that deliver um, or that give birth, they get like a push present. I don't think I have talked about it here in my in my English blog or my English channel, but um, instead, many mommies get um, vehicles, 
many mommies get like an upgrade on their car you know get a bigger vehicle well well i'm not getting a vehicle but i did get new washers and i'm so obsessed you guys it's not even funny i'm so obsessed and it was much much needed these are, these are the ones that we got and we did get them on sale at sears how do i do it hold on i don't know about you guys tell me what you guys have got as a push present or a push gift i know a lot of moms like get cars but girl i'm almost done paying my truck so i'm not about to ruin that so i was washing some dishes i have to throw out some trash you guys i don't know why well i kind of know why you know obviously um because the baby's probably facing down now but i feel so much pressure it's not even funny like i feel so much pressure excuse my nose i was um pressing on it for the little um black heads and stuff but um or white heads whatever it's called um but i've been feeling so much pressure and i'm just like dude i'm like ter no lie but i'm i'm terrified like what if i don't get contractions what if this just what if this baby just decides to pop out like i'm terrified like i know it's my third baby and stuff and i should know when it's time to push or when it's time um that i get contractions but like Radio, it scares Radio, me <laughs> it scares me because you know i don't i don't want this baby to just pop out of nowhere so i just finished washing all these dishes from the morning some that i had left over from yesterday I don't know what I'm going to make to eat, but I'm going to make something. Maybe enchiladas de chile verde. So I think that's what I'm going to make. And I swear to baby Jesus, hot Cheetos, I only crave them when I'm pregnant. I used to eat them a lot when I was um, younger, but now I just crave them when I'm pregnant. So before I do the bed, I am going to fold all this baby clothes that I just finished washing. I am going to hang some and then some I'm going to put them in these little baskets like the little socks, towels and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to be watching the novela, which is right there, Sincero Si Hay Paraíso. So yeah, I'm going to have some fun with this.